Embracing Change, the Resistance to Gender Neutral Language. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to delve into an interesting aspect of our ongoing series on grammar fundamentals, noun and pronoun gender. Specifically, we'll discuss resistance to gender neutral language under the topic of gender neutral language. It's important to note that language is constantly evolving and this is one such evolution we are witnessing. Let's explore the challenges and controversies surrounding this. First off, let's understand what gender neutral language is. It's a way of communicating that doesn't discriminate based on gender and aims to treat all people equally. Gender neutral language uses terms that do not refer to a specific gender, like firefighter instead of fireman, or uses pronouns like they in a singular form. But why is there resistance to something that promotes equality? Let's find out. Resistance to gender neutral language often arises from cultural, social, and linguistic grounds. Many people are comfortable with the language they have grown up with and see changes as unnecessary or even as a threat to tradition. There are those who argue that the rules of grammar should not be changed for social reasons. They see singular, they, or other gender-neutral pronouns like, z, as grammatically incorrect. Some people worry about loss of clarity in communication, as the use of singular, they, can sometimes create ambiguity about whether it's referring to a group or an individual. Resistance can also come from social and political factors. Some see gender-neutral language as an imposition by politically correct movements and resist it as an infringement on their freedom of speech. Critics often see it as a way of denying gender differences and promoting a particular social agenda. For them, it's not just about language, but larger issues of societal change and identity politics. The road to embracing gender-neutral language isn't without its hurdles. However, it's crucial to remember that language is a living entity, continually evolving with society. Resistance to gender-neutral language reflects deeper societal and cultural debates. As language learners, it's essential to stay informed and adapt to these changes. We hope this video gave you a clear insight into the challenges and controversies surrounding gender-neutral language. Keep exploring, keep learning. Until next time, happy language learning.